In this video we present the top 5 best console monitors of 2022. We made this list based on our personal opinion and the hours of research. We sort this list according to its price and features. We have include options for every type of user. If you are searching for budget best console monitor then we list the product for you. If you want to know about the best prices and more information, you can check the description links below. So let's get started with the video. The fifth product in our list is Razer Raptor WQHD Console Monitor. Razer's first console monitor is worthy of its place on this best gaming monitor list. The Raptor is a 27-inch panel that has quality specs oozing from everywhere. An IPS panel with a 1440p resolution. It has a 1 millisecond response time and 144Hz refresh rate. There's also a cool black design that has RGB in the stand because of course it does, and a mesh material all over the back, much like you'd find on speakers. The traditional razor green cables contrast nicely with the black stand and monitor and are tidily kept in check at the back with cable guides too. This is a terrific gaming monitor all in then, and one which has a quality of picture that alone makes it easy to recommend as one of the best gaming monitors. The screen speed is fast and pacey for smooth pictures the image quality is crisp and gorgeous, and the color range and contrasts are deep and immersive. It's a little pricey perhaps, but if you're looking to get a great PC monitor that can be great for other uses too. It's also one of our top picks for best PS4 monitor, such as its quality. The fourth product in our list is Asus XG27 A Console Monitor. Until now, 4K 60 frames per second plus gaming has been a concept only attainable by the hardcore enthusiasts who dedicate everything they have to PC gaming and their best gaming monitors. Not anymore. Thanks to the recent launch of the 30 series cards from Nvidia and AMD RX series equivalents, it's finally affordable for those who desire it. To reach that level, you need one of the best monitors on the market, but they're usually more expensive than the graphics cards themselves. The Asus XG27 UQ changes that entirely, bringing almost the best possible specs on a 4K screen down to a reachable tier for general PC gamers. It's still not cheap, but for the first time ever a 4K monitor with one Meliscon response time and a 144Hz refresh rate. The Asus XG27 UQ is like a gaze into what PC gaming will be like for everyone 5 to 10 years down the line. With ray tracing on, Cyberpunk 2077 had my jaw on the floor, with stunning lighting effects and texture detail throughout Night City, as did Assassin's Creed Valhalla, with the sun rays splitting the treetops. If you have a rig capable of it, seriously, don't upgrade to 4K if your graphics card is a few years old, then you will not be disappointed with this monitor. The third product in our list is Samsung Odyssey G7 console monitor. Looking for one of the best console monitors that combines nearly everything that's best about the latest LCD technology. You just found it in the Samsung Odyssey G7C27 G7. With local dimming, adaptive sync, high refresh, HDR, quantum dot technology, a curved panel, and more, on paper it's got the works. More specifically, it comes with a 27-inch diagonal with 1440p resolution and 240Hz refresh for what many would agree absolutely nails the sweet spot in terms of balancing detail with speed and response. That's why it's our pick for best 240Hz gaming monitor right now. The main question mark concerns the use of VA panel technology, which is traditionally associated with slow pixel response and generally slightly laggy performance. Not so here. Samsung claims one Meliscon response times and this monitor feels and looks at least that quick. No question, it's comparable with the best TN monitors for sheer speed. That it also matches IPS panels for colors and adds excellent contrast into the mix makes for an incredibly compelling package. As for negatives, they're limited to a particularly poor HDR implementation given the display HDR 600 certification plus a niggling doubt that the extreme 1000R curve may be a bit too much of a good thing. Oh, and that price. That premium price. The second product in our list is Asus ROG Swift PG279Q console monitor. The PG279Q houses an IPS LCD panel, 
capable of a maximum resolution of 2560 by 1440 at 165 Hz. Color depth and gamma quality are excellent, as is to be expected of a high-end IPS panel, though reviewers, both consumer and press, disagree as to whether the PG279Q requires extensive calibration in order to achieve the best picture quality. The PG279Q's G-Sync support is appealing but, like the Acer Predator XB271HU, only works if you got an NVIDIA graphics card installed, which is a bothersome limitation that might tempt you to look elsewhere. NVIDIA's customary G-Sync Premium applies to the PG279Q, resulting in a price tag on the wrong side of $700, which is more expensive than many of the computers that'll be paired with the monitors in this guide. It also isn't anywhere near as pricey as 4K displays can get, if you can believe it, so while still very expensive, it's a cheaper option for those who aren't bothered about the 4K experience. All things considered, the Asus ROG Swift PG279Q is absolutely one of the best gaming monitors and one that is just about worth the steeper price range compared to the next jump up in visual hardware. The number one product in our list is MSI MPG Artemis 343 CQR Console Monitor. Not a fan of curved candidates for best gaming monitor? Then you might want to jog on because MSI has definitely doubled down on the notion of bent screens with the MPG Artemis 343 CQR. With a mere one meter radius of curvature, this thing is positively twisted. As it happens, it's also unbelievably immersive. Partly it's down to that extreme 1000R curve. But it's also because MSI has boldly opted for VAs rather than IPS panel technology. Combined with a very strong monolithic backlight, the result is punchy peak brightness of 550 CD slash M2 and 3000 ratio 1 static contrast. Granted, there's only entry-level HDR 400 certification, but this monitor delivers the best HDR experience we've yet seen from a monitor with no local dimming. Cyberpunk 2077 running on this 34-inch, 3440 by 1440 pixel beauty is truly something to behold. Of course, the big worry with any VA panel is pixel response. The 343 CQR does need a little time to warm up, but once it's up to temp, the response is nearly good enough to justify the 1MS claim. Add in 165Hz refresh and AMD free sync support. For the record, NVIDIA G-Sync isn't officially supported, but does work, and you have one heck of an overall gaming package. Back on the Windows desktop, that extreme curve makes less sense. Likewise, at this price point, the mere 1440p resolution will be disappointing from a productivity perspective. And don't forget that even the latest consoles don't support the ultra-wide 21 ratio 9. But for the specific job of high-end PC gaming, with the arguable exception of esports, this monitor is absolute madness. And in a very good way. Alright guys, this was our today's video, if you find this video helpful for you, then like the video and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for our amazing upcoming videos. Be sure to check out the links in the description for the updated price of all products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.